Hello everyone and welcome to Flare. In this video, I will be teaching you how to record and live stream on OBS. I will also be teaching you how to increase your frame rate while recording or streaming on OBS. But before this video starts, just a reminder that if you do enjoy this video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any questions about this video specifically, or about the channel in general, leave a comment and I will do my best to respond to all of the comments. So with all that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go to obsproject.com. Once you're here, you will see OBS Studio. So you want to download the version of OBS Studio that is for your operating system. So since I have Windows, I would click on the Windows download. But since I already have this program, I will not be downloading it. So once you're done downloading OBS, go back to your desktop and open the program. Once you're here, click on settings. Then what you want to do is click on stream. And on the side here, there are only seven tabs, but there are actually only four that you have to worry about, which are stream, output, audio, and video. So the first thing you want to do is go to your stream tab. And this only applies if you are intending to stream with OBS, so if you are recording, you can skip this part. I will leave a timestamp down in the description below. So if you are streaming, go to the Stream tab, and then click on the service that you want to stream to. So for example, if I were to stream to YouTube, I would click YouTube. Then what you want to do is click on Server. Now we have Primary YouTube Ingest Server and Backup YouTube Ingest Server. So for most people, you would just click Primary YouTube Ingest Server, unless you are intending to stream a backup stream on a second computer. Then what you want to do is put the stream key of your stream. Now to get this, what you want to do is go to your YouTube channel, go to your events in your live streaming tab, and then you want to click on ingestion settings and get the stream key from there. Once you have your stream key, you want to copy it and paste it right here. After that, click Apply and click OK. Now what you want to do is open settings back up again, and now go to your Output tab. Now the video bitrate determines the quality of your live stream or your recording. So if you have a better computer, set this higher, but I would recommend setting it below 5000. So to choose your bitrate, you will have to experiment with different bitrates and see how many frames per second you can get. But since I have a pretty good graphics card, I can keep mine at 5000. Then you want to go to your audio. And here what you want to do is click 44.1 kHz. After that, go to your video tab. Here you want to select the resolution of your video or your stream. If you have a better graphics card, set this at the resolution of your monitor. But if you want to increase your frame rate or you don't have a graphics card that's powerful enough to stream at your monitor's resolution, select a resolution that is lower than your monitor's resolution. And again, you will have to test this to see which settings are best for your setup. After that, what you want to do is click OK. And now what you want to do is go to your scenes, which are on the bottom left side of your screen. You want to right click on an empty space and click Add. After that, enter the name of the scene that you want to create. For this example, I will just write test. After that, click OK. And now your screen will just be black, so now we have to fix that. And now what you want to do is right click, click on add, and now you will see all these options pop up. But the options that you mostly will be using are display capture, game capture, and window capture. So display capture captures everything that you see on your monitor. Game Capture only captures the game that you're playing, and Window Capture only captures a window that you select. In this case, I will be showing you how to Display Capture. So you want to click on Display Capture, and add a name for your new Display Capture. And for this example, I will just be naming it Example. Now what you want to do is press OK. And this Properties window will pop up, but there aren't many properties that you can choose from. There's only this display option which shows you which display you are capturing, but since I only have one monitor, I don't have to change this. Now you have this secondary option that says capture cursor, and what this does when it's selected. So for example, if I'm recording my screen, and I move my mouse while I'm recording, the cursor will show up in the final recording, but if I deselect it, 
The cursor will no longer be there. Click OK. And now you are ready to stream or record. So if you want to stream, click on Start Streaming. But if you want to record, click on Start Recording. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, I will try to respond to all the comments down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.